if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again and welcome to episode number 90 of the My Player series here on FIFA 16. As you can see from the bottom right, we have not been selected for the game against Celta Vigo, but although it is a ridiculously heavy uh, rotation side that is being played there, considering it's only a brief few days since we played Andalek. So it looks like it's going to be another international special today with games against Sweden and Slovenia. So we'll try our best in those. Fingers crossed we'll be selected for the England side. We should be. We have been, uh, you know, one one of the first names on the team sheet in recent times for our country. Played, obviously, in the World Cup in 2018. We lose 2-0 thanks to a John Gadetti brace. Not what I expected, to be completely honest, from a game at home against Celta Vigo. That is very disappointing. We'll have to bounce back from that in the next episode that we play with uh, La Liga games in it. But as you can see, we have been selected for the England games against Slovenia and Sweden. And like I say, we should be selected uh, in the starting lineup for both. If you go on to enjoy today's episode, then make sure that you drop the video a like rating and subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't already to ensure you don't miss out on any further uh, episodes of either this series or the West Ham career mode series which obviously is going up daily if you don't know what and when I upload there's a schedule in the description of every video that I put up so that you can see what videos go live and at what time but uh, let's jump in then to the game against Sweden this is what the group stands like so far Slovenia top after four games then, uh, oh, my phone's ringing. I apologise. Someone trying to sell me some sort of insurance or PPI claim. Uh, we've got Slovenia top, Italy second. So we're playing Sweden and Slovenia. So fifth, first, and, well, fifth, first, and then first, second, if you know what I mean. So playing Sweden, who are fifth, and uh, we can. We're still quite close to the top, just two points off it. So uh, we'll actually uh, just jump straight in now then and see if we can get ourselves some points in an England shirt. Henderson into me. I'll squeeze that through. Was meant for Theo, so I'm glad it's reached him. Theo Walcott could give us a great start, but it's a good save by Olsen, the goalkeeper. First chance after eight minutes. Very close. Theo Walcott drawing a good save out of the man in between the sticks. In comes the corner, though, from James Milner. It's over me, but it might still reach an England head. It may still reach an England head after two or three different deflections. It did. Unfortunately, though, a secondary effort wasn't forthcoming. Theo to Henderson. Played it into me. Rooney's made a nice run, so we'll slot it into him. Good first touch. Could have the shot here, Wayne. Chance to make it 1-0, and he's taken it as well. England 1, Sweden 0 after 14 minutes, and we get ourselves an assist as well to go along with the uh, the goal for Wayne Rooney. I'm trying to celebrate with him, but he's too busy doing his default celebration. Nice little ball through. Uh, there wasn't really any other option. I had to play in Rooney. Touch to get past the defender. I'm not really too sure what the centre-back was doing there. Didn't really close Wayne down at all, but never mind. Pleased to be, uh, be 1-0 up. That's a great start. See if we can build on it. Sterling, I'll call for this, just give it back to me. And actually, we'll turn inside and lay it in front of Jordan Henderson. You could find Wayne Rooney, may find Wayne Rooney. No, he's going to go back up wide to Sterling. That wasn't the obvious thing to do there, but never mind. Still got possession, I suppose. That's the most important thing. Baines, just give it to me, and then we'll get it quickly to Rooney. He'll get the turn in into Theo Walcott, and that's not far away from a second goal. Quick little one touch football, little interlinking passes played very nicely. Unfortunately, though, Theo not as accurate with his shot as he needed to be. Rooney to Milner. Nicely round the corner to Henderson. Klein, look at Theo. There's space for him to run into, and hopefully he will choose to run into it. And he's turning inside. Milner will give it to me. We'll let it quickly to Rooney. Oh, he's tried the shot from distance. That would have been quite the goal from Wayne Rooney from 30 yards. Seems shaking his head in disappointment. I don't know why. There's definitely the opportunity to shoot there. And it was going to dip in the top corner. Stunning save from the goalkeeper, Olsen. We'll just loiter on the edge of the box then if we've been put here for it for now and actually that's going to head my way good first touch could be good and then the shot oh, I couldn't get anywhere near as good a shot as Wayne Rooney did never mind still 1-0 at the start of the second half go on Studge make the run Sturridge go on keep going keep going keep going and play it in your path I want you to get it on your left foot oh, he's giving it to me uh, I'm trying to find the space for a shot oh we did find the space for the shot but I've pulled it past the post just five minutes since our last effort that went high and over the top of the bar. And now we've shot wide of uh, the post as well. Surely it's not long before we actually get a shot on target. Uh, we'll see. I'll call for the cross because he's probably just going to hold it in the corner because we're on part of the bus. Olsen has come to claim. They do miss 
Ibrahimovic here, this Sweden national side. That's the, they've had good possession play. They've been pretty solid defensively, but the one thing that has been missing is that piece of quality up top. There's something that uh, Zlatan Ibrahimovic gives any side. That's been what's uh, the, the missing piece to their puzzle so far. Uh, Sweden. They might get something still with a chance here in the last few moments, but Forsberg's cross is over here and it's going to be a goal kick to England. So we're going to get three points again here in the group stage, which if we can build on with a win against Slovenia in the second game, may see us go top of the group if Italy can't or Greece can't pick up results in their games. We'll have to wait and see if they're presumably going to be playing each other in one of the games and uh, Denmark in the other. So fingers crossed they drop points. We've picked up maximum points here from the game against Sweden which we will take happily into the next game against Slovenia. We get the assist for the goal as well. Now it's time to see if we can get all three again. Italy beat Greece, which isn't the worst of results, but uh, hopefully we can beat Slovenia, who have dropped points against Denmark as well, and move ourselves nearer the top of the group. OK, so we haven't been selected for the game against Slovenia. Ross Barkley gets the, uh, the nod ahead of us. You can see there is a few rotation players in there, with Buckley and Rodriguez starting. Uh, you've got Luke Shaw, Gary Cahill, John Stones in there as well. We get a 2-0 win. Studge comes off the bench to get one, or penalty even, on the 76th minute. And uh, Wilshire got one after 38. What we'll actually do then, rather than uh, play another game, let's have a look at our accomplishments. Because uh, a lot of people have been asking, why am I not training all of my other areas? And uh, because, like I said in the previous episode, we want this series to last uh, the majority of the year, if not the full year, of uh, FIFA 16. But... If we train too much, we'll be like 100 rated sooner rather than later. We don't want that to happen uh, right now. But what we can do is have a look at the accomplishments and see how close we are to actually growing naturally. And then once we get maybe another season or a season and a half down the line, then we'll start training again to really maximise our potential. But I'm intrigued to see whether we can actually get into like 93, 94, you know, Messi and Ronaldo territory just from now the accomplishments that we're looking to get. A dribbling will go up three in uh, two games, or oh, after we beat two more people from dribbling, which will be fantastic. So uh, crosses, we only need one more complete cross. Somehow, in uh, like 150 games or whatever, we only completed four crosses, although we are playing centrally. You'll be... I'm interested to know, actually, would you guys be intrigued to see a winger, my player, next year? We was, have been striker for two years in 14 and 15. We tried Cam this year, which has gone very well. Would you be interested in seeing a wide uh, my player, like uh, maybe the next Ronaldo or something like that? Obviously, we're trying to be uh, Frank Lampard here. Uh, in this series, which is why we hold the number 8 and not the number 10 shirt at Real Madrid. But let me know. Dribbling is going to go up well, one as well, if we beat more players with skill. I don't use my skill moves as much as I perhaps should, so maybe we should look into that. This kind of gives me an idea as well of where we're lacking, you know. We're clearly lacking in uh, getting crosses in and using our skill moves, so it's somewhere where we can find out from the stats where we need to improve Clearly, we need to get more volleyed goals as well. That would help. Uh, we haven't really been a free kick taker at any club that we've been involved in so far, which is a shame. Hopefully next year, or it maybe even this year, if we can get to, uh, to a club where no one else really has uh, outstanding free kick stats, we might be able to uh, get, you know, get some uh, some more free kicks for ourselves or maybe even if Cristiano Ronaldo gets injured then uh, we might take some free kicks for Real uh, mentally what well, tackling wise we're not really uh, that good which is why I'm still training the tackles uh, in the training modules mental accomplishments we're close to a couple more uh, key passes we only need another 21 of those uh, seal outs I, I never really know what's a seal out and what isn't because I swear more than seven times I've actually sealed out possession from a defender. But maybe I actually have to hold in both triggers and, uh, you know, actually properly uh, kind of mark the ball. You guys, again, will have to let me know in the comments section about that. We've only picked up nine yellow cards in our entire career so far. So uh, that's pretty good. Uh, 39 assists. Only 39 assists. I'm pretty sure I could have sworn we'd gotten more than 39 assists. We got like 24 or 25 in the, the last season at Everton. Uh, again, it's crosses and block shots, which we aren't really going to be... Uh, oh, this is all as a defender. Crosses and block shots, we aren't really going to be 
uh, looking for. Long passes, we're very close to that. And long passing will go up another 2 to 90. That will definitely get us closer to 91 rated. Another three crosses from there. Uh, one more assist, again, will put short passing up to 96. That's Chavi territory. Uh, again, one more cross uh, will give us a couple of accomplishments then. So I may have to actually try and drift out wide in the next episode and get another uh, cross or two. Again, some more crosses and some more assists will help us. Player of the year would give us a... Uh, Another short passing. I'm pretty sure we got... Did we not get player of the year in... Um, no, we were in team of the year, weren't we, in Everton at Everton last year. I thought for a moment we were in team of the year. We need to win one more header to get balance and strength go up one. Our physical stats do look very good. I would like to be a little bit faster. So maybe we... What, uh, what do I need to do to improve my speed? Nothing here actually helps with speed, does it really? Just looking at reactions now. Travel 3,500 yards in a match as a forward. Maybe uh, we need to be... Yeah, maybe it's uh, actually a position change that would need to be done to get uh, a few more uh, pace stats. Although if we actually change ourselves to a striker, by default our, our uh, sprint speed and acceleration would be slightly higher. So I guess 83 acceleration, 83, 86 sprint speed for a central attacking midfielder is pretty impressive. We are very close to a lot of accomplishments. Look, another one. We just need to win one more header and that'll be heading up to there. We had some with the physical as well. So strength and balance. So we are very close to getting a few more accomplishments. Just two more shots on target. Could have had that today if my shot over the bar and the one that went wide had gone in. Only two more headed goals needed, although we only have eight in our entire career. 64 goals to this point we've scored. We are only in the fourth season though. So 64 goals and 39 assists from three and a bit years is pretty impressive. Uh, again, headers, but that one's 150. Uh, goals, again, we, uh, 10 goals from outside the box is pretty nice. Uh, eight headers. Penalties, we've taken two. Apparently, we've been involved in two penalty shootouts, one of which was in the playoff final, I think, for Coventry, wasn't it, if I cast my mind back uh, properly. Uh, goalkeeper stats, we're fine. Uh, we're not being a goalkeeper. And then when it comes to traits and accomplishments, we're not far away from a few others. One thing I wanted to show you as well, whilst we're just having a quick recap, I suppose is our career stats so far. It says domestic cups one, two. However, it hasn't counted the Copa or the Spanish Super Cup. So uh, we won, we were in team of the week once and got four man the matches. We won the league playoff in uh, in the first season with Coventry. That's one trophy, the uh, league one playoff final win. Then uh, I'll just show you actually quickly the stats we got for that season. 21 wins, uh, 16 goals, three assists in the first year at Coventry. Then this was uh, the beginning of the season at Middlesbrough for the second... Oh, no, that was that was the beginning of the first season. We played one friendly, didn't we? We got one goal, one assist, so that doesn't really count. Then at the start of the second season, we played six games for Middlesbrough, got three goals, no assists, got the move to Everton. We uh, won the FA Cup with Everton in our first year. That's our second piece of silverware. So playoff final, FA Cup uh, as well. 15 goals, 10 assists in that year. Then we won the Community Shield. So technically that's three pieces of silverware with uh, the Community Shield win with Everton in season number three. 26 goals and 24 assists in that season. That was by far our best year to date. 40 wins from 52 appearances. Then uh, in this, this season, beginning of this season, uh, before we got our move to Real Madrid, we uh, were involved in five games. And at Real Madrid, we did win the Copa del Rey. Not the Copa del Rey, I keep saying Copa del Rey. We won the Spanish Super Cup, but that hasn't counted on uh, our record here. So technically, we have four pieces of silverware. Playoff, League One playoff final, which all the playoff finals do actually have a trophy that you lift, technically. So we'll count that as a winner's medal of sorts. The FA Cup, which I'm very proud of. The Community Shield, which is obviously still decent, building on the back of that FA Cup win. And the Spanish Super Cup, which is technically the Spanish version of the Community Shield. So uh, that's four pieces of silverware or four winner's medals that we have achieved so far in our career. And so far this year, in 18 games, six goals, five assists, 10 wins, seven draws and one defeat. So we've started off on the front foot here at Real as well. So I'm really pleased with our career thus far and being 90 rated as well isn't anything to be snuffed at. We are still above Barcelona in the league. I'm really disappointed with that defeat against Celta Vigo at the beginning of this episode. Had we won that, we could have been on 19 points and up in third. So um, we're clearly not far away from the top positions. 
and uh, we just need to put together a run of form. I didn't want to do that. We wanted to go into the calendar. So uh, up next, we'll have a game against Almeria away from home, and then St Etienne in the Champions League group stage. That's the final group stage game, I believe. No, we've got another one against uh, Schalke in December. So the penultimate Champions League group stage game in the next episode. But for now, that's going to bring today's video to a close. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't already. Please do let me know all the feedback with the questions I put to you in uh, the commentary so far in the comment section down below and uh, hopefully you guys really enjoyed. I will uh, see you